Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. Today we're going to be doing the same thing we did last time actually, but this time with Isaac. I'm going to be playing Greedier again, because for one, I thoroughly enjoyed it, surprisingly. But for two, there's another unlock that I really want to get um, with this guy. Oh, wait. I think, I've, I think I've picked the wrong Isaac. One second. Streak doesn't matter. Uh, let me go and check real quick and uh, update you guys. Let's have a look. It is uh, Repentance Plus... I just want to make sure that I'm actually grabbing the right thing here. Consumables. Okay, yes. The spin down dice shard. Defeat Ultra Greed as Tainted Isaac. Yeah, okay. So we're playing as Tainted Isaac here. I'm going to jump in and play more greedy mode. I'm really enjoying it. I thought it was really fun last time. I know it's two greedy as an episodes in a row. And I haven't got your guys' feedback yet. So I hope you guys are okay with it. Um, I hope it's not a big problem. But, yeah, I think it could be kind of fun. Um, and I gotta say, it was just, it was a lot of fun. For the question of the day today, um, if you could live anywhere other than where you live right now, where would you live and why? Be interesting to see where other people would like to go. Because for me, I've got like a few different ones off the top of my head that are kind of interesting also. I don't know how that would work in this, uh, but yeah, um, I've got sort of a few different ones off the top of my head that, that kind of be interesting, like, places like Switzerland seem like really nice places to live, they seem to just have their shit together, but then again, I don't really know too much about it, it's like, I, I feel like I would kind of like to live in areas of America for a spell, but definitely not permanently, like, I think America has some great stuff, but for me, the, the kicker is the healthcare system, if their healthcare system actually, like, gave a damn about the people that live there it would be a lot more livable i mean also there's the fact that um living wage and pay there is currently absolutely shagged um i know that a lot of people are having a lot of issues with actually getting paid livable wages so that's another thing but if i got to keep the current job that i have i'd be perfectly happy because i've worked completely remote for the most part so it really wouldn't bother me too much if i could just keep the job i have right now uh, but yeah, um, th th there's definitely a, a bunch of different places. I've actually, I'm fairly well traveled. I kind of spoke about this a little bit in an episode recently. Um, also, we're getting waves from from mods here that I didn't think about. Um, yeah, I'm fairly well traveled. I kind of mentioned it in a recent episode. Someone was a bit surprised to learn. Basically, I said that I'd been to uh, been on holiday like once a year. And they were a bit surprised to learn when I said, oh, my family wasn't very well off. They were like, oh, I never even left my city. Like, what do you mean not well off? And then I was like, well, my parents collectively earn under 16000 a year. So that's what I mean. I was never poor by any means. I never felt poor as a kid. I never noticed my parents not having money. But like, when I got older, I definitely learned that um, they didn't have too much, really. They didn't have as much as I thought they did. Um, but we did get to go on holiday like once a year. And yeah, I, I, I'd say I'm reasonably well-traveled. There's definitely a few places out there that I'd be like okay with i wouldn't say living there but okay with going to again i think i'm just gonna take more fire rate you know i think this is pretty good uh, and we'll buy a key after this as well hopefully but if you didn't see the last episode by the way please go and check it out because that was a another greed mode run in which i um in which i explained the new mods that we're using um basically it's gonna add a rebalance a bunch of the waves add some of the other alt flaws to be available to show up in this and also pick up money for us this is a rough rough room Espe i was just about to say especially these dudes these charges are insane okay this is this is getting nuts can you stop spawning dips please the thing is as well, if he eats one of these dips, he gets a lot stronger. Can you stop fucking whistling, my guy? I was about to say, you can charge. Please do that sometimes. Look at this, just so many dips. Stop it. I am a little worried here, just because we've got a lot of off-screening of bosses, and off-screening bosses normally doesn't lead to anything good. I'm trying to kill Dingle first, but Monstro is like taking the spotlight. He's like, I wanna, I wanna be seen first. Look at this. I, every time I go to shoot Dingle, he's like, meh, I'm gonna jump on top. Okay, he did. Oh, you bastard. Okay, I could actually die now. I don't mind if I die on the first floor, because it's like it's a quick pretty quick reset. But for my own sanity, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I don't even know if we're going to be able to do our deal with the devil wave here, because that would be mighty scary. 
Monstro is kind of a weird one. He's like a pretty fucking easy boss, but because of the perspective of how he fires his tears sometimes, it is a little janky. It is a little janky. But anyways, back to what I was saying, yeah. I got, I've got to go to quite a few places. I've actually been to Egypt three times. That was before it was like not really a holiday destination. It kind of changed a bit, didn't it? Uh, but when it was actually somewhere you could go, um, let's bomb uh, Let's bomb this. I will buy a heart. It's not great money to spend, to be honest, but I will buy a heart. Remember we're playing Tainted Isaac here. We'll let the item reroll first and see what we get. Anarchist's cookbook. Hmm. I'm going to take Anarchist's cookbook. Because for one, it doesn't take up an item slot. But for two, it is a reusable way of using bombs. Which I, I feel is actually pretty useful. We didn't get anything out of it there. But there's going to be times in which it's going to be pretty good for us. I probably should have used it on this wave, to be honest. Um, just because troll bombs are going to do good damage. They do inherit our bomb effects if we get any. Um, and yeah, we can blow up like keepers with them, blow up rocks with them, stuff like that. Might be at tinted rocks because bombs aren't really a pickup that you get all that much of, apart from bomb upgrade I from bomb upgrade items in greed mode, to be honest. So that would kind of help out. I really don't know how to prioritize this. I feel like I should be killing um, the Gemini baby first. I can't remember what's, what's the Gemini baby name. Baby's name again. It does actually have a name. I feel like killing this dude first, actual Gemini, is going to be a bit of a mistake. It's okay, it's okay. Let's just let's just keep going. It's a little bit of a struggle, yeah, because now we've got two babies going around. I feel if we kill Steven here and then focus on the babies, we might have a bit of a better time. Oh, ho, ho. the slide through the center there. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I think we're okay now. Now, we are going to bumble and bounce these fellas around like crazy, which does make things... A little more difficult, as you can see, but <coughs> if we get hit, I doubt we're going to take a full heart and a half of damage, to be honest. I, l I love the fact that these two have, like, very different health bars. The knockback on these dudes is just annoying as all hell. Just remember that this guy is going to split off into a bunch of shots as well. This dude, mate. Dude. The knockback is so frustrating. Keep your distance, child. <laughs> uh, just because of my health, I am going to ignore the devil deal here. Hey. And we do indeed get the ability to maybe get a... S yes, I was going to say, we needed a spirit heart there, so that's good. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm feeling reasonably positive here. By the way, I do have a fan on in the background. I hope you can't hear it. It might be a little bit loud. I do apologize for this. All right. All right. Okay, this is, um, this has gotten strange. <laughs> I think we take gold flakes again, but... Mm. It's kind of a weird one. I think this is worth it, to be honest. And then we try and take gold flakes. But I think with the amount of fire rate we have right now, soy milk is actually pretty decent. Also, soy milk doesn't really have the knockback problem that it used to have. This also destroyed that. It's a verp. Okay, verp. Verp's potentially useful. It's not great. We do have some eternal enemies spawning in as well. That's another problem. I don't really know how the eternal enemies limit works because I have a, I have a limit set where we can only have one eternal pair room. I don't know if this in, in this it counts as one eternal pair wave or if it actually does mean if there's one in the room, another one can't spawn. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, as for some of the other places I've been, I've been to the Dominican Republic. I've been to Sri Lanka. My grandparents lived in Sri Lanka for a spell, so I went to visit them. Uh, but that was like all paid for by them, so that's why we were able to go. That was kind of nice. It was... It was a decent place, but it was like there was a lot of it that was very poor. But it was very in like it was is, is interesting to, to experience and to see. It was something I hadn't really seen before. Like like there was some pure poverty, like a lot of dirt roads and like lots of tuk tuk driving the street. I know that doesn't mean poverty, but the, the, there was a lot of that. Um, the, there was the we, we walked to the beach where the tsunami hit and actually in fact they hadn't cleaned up after the tsunami at all. After, and it was like four years after or something. It was quite a while after the tsunami had hit and they still hadn't done anything to clear it up. Also, how are you not dead yet? There you go. 
Yeah, they hadn't done anything to clear up the beach. It was still absolutely wrecked. There was hotels and buildings like that were at the um, water's edge that were decimated. It was really interesting. I mean, that that was a horrible event, but it was it was quite interesting. I was actually supposed to be in Sri Lanka when that hit as well. It, I mean, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been affected by it because my my grandparents had a house that was very hit, like in in the hill sort of high ground area, so it wouldn't have hit us. But we would have been stuck there a good while, I think. Um, but yeah, we had a we had a trip organized for a week. I think it was a week after the the uh, tsunami hit, and obviously the tsunami hit, and then we had to cancel the trip. But if it had been a different week, then I probably would have been there when that happened, which would have been fucking scary. Um, I'm trying to think of other places I've been. I've been to Spain a few times. I've been to Greece. I actually did book a holiday to go to Greece. Um, try and work this out. Yeah, that didn't really do much for us, did it? Yeah, I've actually just booked a holiday with my girlfriend to go to Greece, because I've, I've never actually been abroad just me and my girlfriend before, considering we've been together eight and a half years. That's kind of surprising. And we're both on, like, reasonable wages. Where is this dude? There he is. We're both on, like, reasonable wages, so it shouldn't have taken us so long. Um, by the way, this, having having Red Moor and Red Version of you, very scary. We definitely need some damage ups, like, pretty rapid. Because, as you can see, the Soy Milk, it's not doing terrible, but the damage is pretty slow going. I'm, I'm really stressed out about this fight with this dude. Like, just the shots that are coming in from our other friend here is just making this oh so stressful. But there you go, we got it. Do we have the range to hit this guy? We do. Okay, I think we should try and stay in his line of sight, though. Just make dodge, dodging a little easier and nerf for actually getting hits. But yeah, as you can see, damage is pretty piss poor, really. I don't know if we'll end up making it through this guy without being hit, because he is, to be honest, a very difficult boss. But we have a lot more room. There you go, we got hit. We have a lot more room to manoeuvre, so we shouldn't get hit too much. But I knew we were going to get hit at least once, just because his shots come out in patterns that are slightly unpredictable, especially in the smaller rooms that he would normally spawn in. There you go, we got him. Um, I think I'm going to take this. Then I'm going to grab this. interesting i guess and then i'm gonna grab this and this not the best set of pickups i've ever taken oh god <laughs> but i do you know what i'm dumb i should have bought i should have bought the soul hearts first because then i would have got more golden hearts it's fine it's it's a small error really okay not being able to knock these guys around so much is gonna make the this fairly difficult. I don't think this is going to be too bad. I am hoping I don't get hit any more than I've already been hit, but they do move around at quite some speed, so... And it's always hard to keep track of which one's at low HP, so... Oh, there you go. He hit me again. God damn it. These guys are tricky. Did they do full soul heart damage? Oh my god. I mean, that's a nice amount of money there, but... Oh my god. How have I not killed a single one of them yet? Oh my god, stop! They're all at such low HP. Oh, my lord. I mean, we got a lot of money out of that. There's, there's another one left. Dude, stop. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, that was a... I thought that was a nickel. God damn it. Lots of money. That's good, I suppose. Um, stairway. How do you work? Do you work? I don't know. Um, right. I think just to make sure we survive, let's do one, two, and three. Just to make sure we can we can survive. And then we go down this way. Okay. And then we hope stairway works and pays out. I, I don't know if it works. Okay, it does, it does, it does, it does. And we get... Oh, Crown of Light's not great, to be honest. It's like, it seems good, but if we get hit, we lose the damage. Um, spawns a menorah familiar that causes Isaac's tears to be multiplied by the amount of light. Um, past tear delay. Okay, let's let's go with the menorah, shall we? The menorah seems interesting, at least. Also, with duct tape, it's kind of funky. Do you know, I'm perfectly happy to trade this in. And I will take Buddy in a box. Crooked Penny is not amazing for us, I'll be honest. Ok, 
Okay, then let's buy a key. Okay, we are at maximum items now, so we need to start trading. I mean, Sci-Fly is god tier. Um, I think we actually get rid of um, Buddy in a Box for Sci-Fly. Also, we can open this up. Wait. Uh, I was like, why didn't it grab that? It, it, it's fine. Child Soul is actually really nice here for us. Getting hit's actually kind of good because we get more tears. Wire Coat Hanger. I mean, actually, we don't need Gold Flakes at all anymore. So let's see wh where Wire Fl Coat Hanger puts us. <laughs> yes. That's an insane tears up. Um, and then we keep the rest of our money for a rest stairway, I think. The menorah multiplying our tears is going to be incredible here, I think. It's going to lag the game like fucking crazy. Especially the more we get hit, but let's ignore that. Also, child souls should mean that we get a lot of ghosts. Especially being greedier, being able to stack them. We definitely have a problem with, uh, with champions. It takes us quite some time to kill champions. But regular enemies get absolutely blasted. I didn't realize there was another dude in here. What the hell? Okay, good. Yeah, the champions are, are a problem. We definitely need a lot more damage. I mean, the amount of tears and the fire rate we have right now is pretty awesome. And we do have the ability to knock enemies around more now. Which is a good and bad thing. It makes it harder to deal damage, but still. It would kind of be nice to have duct tape with these ghosts, but the only thing is they just duct tape to wherever they spawned in, which is, isn't very helpful. I kind of want to get hit again just to pump up Menorah a little bit. I don't want to get hit on purpose, really. But this is interesting. Bunch of fat bats. You're a bomb dude, so take care of you. Sci-Fly is incredible for us here. Sci-Fly is going to carry so hard. It's been a while since I've had that Sci-Fly, actually. In quite a while. Okay. Okay, I, th I, think, I think we just say no to taking anything on this floor. I did lose my girth baby, so that's not a big deal. Yeah, the enemy, the, en the enemy, sorry, the items just aren't really good enough to warrant taking at the minute. This is slightly annoying. I think with, because we have sci-fi, we should just focus on killing these guys. There you go, the menorah procs again. My god, this is gonna get nuts. If we get to max menorah, we are gonna be lagging the game like fucking crazy. By the way, the way the Menorah works is it'll keep scaling and keep scaling um, as many fires as it has. And then once it gets to max fires, it'll uh, go back down to zero again. So we'll have to loop back over. So that'll probably end up happen happening before we get to uh, the boss. Just because I I'm probably going to get hit a lot. But we'll see. But yeah, we're going to be firing just an insane amount of tears here. We just, we just need more damage. Even with this amount of tears, we're still having a hard time actually killing things with speed. It is still soy milk after all. I mean, the, the good thing is we can get rid of soy milk at any point, but I don't really want to. Okay, this time we just got an angel. Is it? I think this is an eternal angel, isn't it? Which means we're going to have a beam of light following us any second now. There it is. The beam of light following attack is really cool, but it is very difficult, especially in large rooms like this, because the pillars of light kind of get in the way of your visuals. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. Ow, that was pretty good of you. But Menorah. Menorah's going crazy. We got a devil deal again. Is that how that's meant to work? I'll check it out. Lump of coal? It's kind of intriguing. Ooh. No, no, no. I think we take the skull. I know it locks us in here, but I think we take this. 
and we trade it out for... I don't really know, to be honest. Better tiers up on this. So we're at 23 on that. We're at 22 on that. We're at 20 with that. So I think it's, I think this is it, isn't it? 23, yeah. 23 is pretty good. Yeah, 23 is pretty good. But yeah, that gives us an insane damage boost. And in greed mode, it's good as well because we stack the, we keep stacking the damage. Okay, nothing great there, unfortunately. Um, I, I genuinely don't think I want anything here. Piercing is insane. Insane. I think we get rid of maybe the screw. We're down to 16 fire rate though, but piercing is nutty. That puts us to 16 again. And that puts us to 14. Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. And then that is a damage upgrade, but one that we don't really get much out of. Let's just take the magic eight ball to get the card. And it's a full card. <laughs> it's kind of annoying because I do want to get rid of stairway. Um, grants the effect of a random item. A random item changes each time you take damage. Could be good. Dad's wallet. All shop items will um, act as if they're free. Picking up a shop item will remove one charge from this um, until losing all charges, this item will disappear. Kind of interesting. Is it an, is it an active? It is an active. Okay, buy it. Hmm... Okay. I think we keep this for uh, for angel deals. But yeah, I'm a little sad to, to lose so much fire rate. We went from like 36 down to what we're at now. But at the same time, piercing is nutty. We need more range to make it extra effective, to be honest. But I doubt we're going to really get more range. There's not many items I'd want to take that would give us range. But yeah, stairway with this dad's wallet setup is actually pretty interesting. But you can see our damage now is just so much better than it was before. After we kill a single enemy, our damage just raises by a ton. And then we get a small permanent damage up too. I never remember if it's permanent off of the floor, but either way it's useful. But yeah, it's basically just a chain reaction. After the first enemy, everything's just going to die really fast. And the good thing is, Ultra Greed does actually spawn enemies, so we can take advantage of it in the Ultra Greed fight too. Okay. And sometimes you can even trigger it from the previous wave and keep the damage. Which I wasn't expecting, but very happy with. Um, okay, let's just keep rolling this. So these are the situations where it's not going to be great. This, these guys aren't going to spawn much. Basically, this is just let Psy fly ride this out. Oh, wait, no. He spawned something. Nice. Yeah, look at that. That's nutty. As soon as we kill something, everything just dies. Even now, our base damage is 1.05 up from 0 0.8, I think. Or 0 0.7, even. The, yeah, we just get this absolutely wicked burst of damage. If he spawns something. There you go, he spawns that. And then we chunk the hell out of him. That's awesome. That is awesome. Now, we did take a devil deal, so we'll be getting devil deals across the board. This guy will spawn stuff too, so he's going to go down. I think all of these guys spawn stuff, actually. Yeah, there you go. Oh god. Not ideal. There you go, take those guys out, and then you are 
Going to take a lot of damage here. There you go. Nice. This will be a devil deal again. We are, like, a bit light on HP right now, so I'm a bit worried here. Oh, these costs. Wait, what? Did these always cost? I'm confused. <laughs> I think Eye of the Occult is, like, a must grab. Uh, this is tricky. I think we I think we just take the lesser fire rate. It's not great, but I think it'll work out for us. Um then shop wise, there isn't anything we want in there. Ooh, what does Pandora's box do for us right now? Um two boss items. That's not actually great. And we'll go to Cathedral here. This might take us to Corpse, but we'll try Cathedral. We'll see where it takes us. This is not the cathedral. We did get a planetarium, though. Uranus is insane. Terror. Okay, we've got to take Terror. Um, this is really tricky. <laughs> um, our fire rate is just, like, one-tenth of what it used to be, but I think it's... I think it's okay. Oh, we missed stairway because I'm an idiot. I just realized. Okay, let's take that and use it. We got Baby Bender. Um, that's actually pretty good stuff, though. We got some good stuff. Um, nothing there I crazy want. Ooh, wait. Damn it. This purchase is going to waste a charge. Damn it. I did not want that to happen, but it did. Analog stick or the B? Health upgrade. We'll take the health upgrade because that'll be permanent. Okay. Um, and then the menorah can be upgraded. Although this might, yeah, this resets its flames, unfortunately. But max level menorah and max level sci-fly. Okay, let's let's take a look at what that's just done because I imagine that's made us godly terrifying. So this with its upgrades. When it blocks a bullet, it fires a homing tier in the opposite direction. Um, collision damage and tier damage up. Damn. Basically, we got pre-nerf. Pre-nerf side flight. And the menorah. Higher fire rate per flame. Higher fire rate per flame. You can keep um, firing even with no flames. Okay. Oh, we got 20 fire rate now. Okay, well that was very worth it. I think this is I think this is our final setup. Unless we get like Sacred Heart from our next um, Angel deal, I don't think we need to change any of this. Also, we get randomized uh, damage per rock tier as well, which is nice. The Eye of the Occult's definitely good for grouping enemies. Very good for that, in fact. Unfortunately, we don't have any luck upgrades to help us out with that, but... That's fine. Yes, I'm loving Eye of the Occult right now. It's very good. Ooh, this guy is a champion version. I'm glad I went to the planetarium rather than the uh, stairway, though, because either one of them would have disappeared. Oh, Baby Bender plus Ghost Babies from our trinket actually gives us homing on them. I didn't think about that. That's really nice. We don't have a familiar, but we do have ways of getting familiars, so although it's only Ghost Babies, it is five of them. Nothing to turn our nurse about, to be honest. I quite like the hustle here. We do have an Eternal Krampus. I don't know what the Eternal version does. I'm just going to pretend he doesn't exist. I got hit again, but honestly, that just gives me more Menorah, so I don't mind. Okay, I think now we trade Piercing for the Scythes. 
Just because that's already piercing, plus damage up, plus bigger tears. <laughs> that's our wallet gone now. Our wallet is gone. Um, I don't think there's anything else we want to do in here. But we're good to go. So go up stairway first. Unfortunately, I don't think any of those are to our liking, really. Oh shit, what the hell? That destroyed him. I was not expecting that. By the way, our Eye of the Occults are way bigger now. <laughs> I don't think the um, obituary skull was ever scaled for uh, soy milk. I think it just gives you flat damage. It doesn't care about your multiplier, which is kind of nutty. Um, crack that open, why not? Activates your active item for free. I mean, that doesn't mean anything to us. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what we want here. I think, I think actually buying this is a good idea because we can just put it straight down. Buying meat is another good idea. We just want HP at this point. Because the thing is, we're, apart from contact damage, we're not very likely to get hit much. Because... A cult's going to keep shots off of us, and ones that even do make it in. We've got, like, pre-nerf. Ooh, this guy dropped a golden penny. Hello. Look <laughs> I love the tier size bonus here. It is beautiful, no matter what you say. Breed mode is now quite fun. It's okay though, that just makes our Menorah even better. I think Menorah plus Soy Milk is a very nice combo that I wouldn't have expected to be as good as it is. I am trying to get the Golden Penny, but it does, it does seem to have a complete mind of its own with all of the uh, stuff that's going on. We have managed to amass a lot of money out of this Golden Penny. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so I think we take meat. One second. Just for some more HP. Marbles is maybe okay. Nah, let's let let's let's reroll. Try and get a thingy active item or something. Not great. Okay, I think I think we wanna take this Which gives us some HP to work with. Okay, this is an easy wave. But yeah, now our HP actually looks pretty solid. I wish we had more luck. I wish we were finding more Eye of the Occults. It's not like we're not firing a lot, but <laughs> I would like more. <laughs> and now we can actually take a devil deal if one comes across us. If we end up fancying it. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, wait, nurse. Stairway will still work next floor, right? I'm going to keep it just in case it does. I feel like it will. It does, good. I think we definitely want that, and I think we take it for stairway as well. We don't need stairway anymore, and this thing's nutty. <laughs> So many tears. Cry me a fucking river. Sci-fly, you little tyke. Oh, also we have Butt Penny, which I didn't even realize. 
because we've not been picking up coins. I really like that mod that makes you auto pick up the coins. It's so much better. And last time we, we, we felt that this guy was a lot more nerfed than normal, which was nice. I wonder if that'll be the case this run, or if last run was just uber powerful. I think we are going to see him die. Ooh, wait. Ooh, okay. Now, we have good damage now. Uh, we're at 2.1, but these, these coins do not trigger obituary. I really thought they would. That does significantly hamper our ability to deal damage. I mean... We're still doing good damage, but we need him to spawn real enemies. There you go. There you go. When he spawns real enemies, we go up to like five damage. We start doing Omega damage. But we just had a really strong build last time, because this is nowhere near as strong as last time. Last time we demolished him. I think it was to do with the Locust. I think the Locust maybe ignore boss armor or something along those lines. But yeah, we, we need him to be constantly spawning things so that we can take advantage. I don't even know if the second phase spawns anything, to be honest, so that might not be the most ideal situation for us in the next phase. But this phase, he does, as you can see. I love that. <laughs> we got hit again, which is another proc on Minora. And Minora is at max light. Oh no, wait, I think it's one off max now. Which, we really don't want to get hit two more times, because then it'll be, uh, no more Minora. Although, our fire rate will go back up to, like, 15, 16, but I, I, I prefer more tiers. I'll be honest. Okay, so, we are at max Minora now. He managed to pick up a nickel there, so he's got a bit more health than he would have normally. That's first phase done. So yeah, one more hit, unfortunately, and we've reset Minora, which is not what I'm hoping for. Ooh, a luck upgrade there's nice though. Trying to get these pennies before we uh, enter the next phase. So yeah, I'm not particularly sort of sure what to expect here. We killed him so fast last time. Oh, there goes Minora. That is a significant, significant damage downgrade for us here. But we can rebuild it if we get hit again. It's just, do we want to on purpose? We're back to just one flame now. Okay, back up to two. I think three or four is kind of the peak. We're back up to three. We've got a lot of health to work with here, so don't worry about being hit. Okay, I think we're back up to we're back up to a good amount of Menorah now. It's a good balance between fire rate and amount of tears fired. I will always prefer more tears fired. Also, I keep forgetting he fires explosive shots. God damn it. I keep thinking the um, oculars are gonna uh, suck the um, suck the shots back towards him, but they don't. By the way, we had duct tape at one point. That would have been so good with Prism here. Okay, we're one, we're one off Max again. Oh, we're, we're on Max again. Max, we are cycling right now. We are cycling through Menora like crazy. But don't worry about it, because I think this should be the last time. Nope, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He got a cheeky hit on me. This is such an annoying boss. It's the, the the stone bits that are annoying. But there you go. We got it. And we got the spin down shard, which I've been looking forward to unlocking for a little while now. The spin down shard. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, yet another greed run here. Very fun one indeed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.